Alright folks, just wanted to do a quick video here on uh, what is called the Old Hickory 7-inch Butcher Knife. Now these are made by Ontario Knife Company, and I'm not sure the original or old, old hickories were. And when I say that, I'm talking, you know, turn of the century, and I'm talking turn of the 19th century, not the 20th century. I think that these things were really popular in the early 1900s, uh, if I know my facts straight, which I may not. Anyhow, it's a 7-inch uh, butcher-style knife with a wooden handle, pin construction, and it's made out of high-carbon steel. Uh, you can see inside this, well, maybe you can. It's a full-tang construction, so it's full-tang, carbon steel blade, antique finish. Um, and it is a cool knife, and these get a lot of uh, uh, airtime on knife forms and bushcraft forms and uh, on YouTube in general. And a lot of people say, you know, hey, this is the original bushcraft knife, this is the frontier knife, and so what I really wanted to do is I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, I think in the old days, people probably didn't have the same kind of access to tools and technology that we do today. And as a result, the knife that you used in the kitchen might have been the knife that you used in the yard, and it might have been the knife that you used while you were camping. Um, I am certainly not a believer that this is a knife that you would take <laughs> camping or, uh, I'm sorry, not camping, in, in the bush. I bought this to be a camp kitchen knife. I didn't buy this so I can chop tent pegs or I can baton wood or that I can cut notches and make traps and do all that kind of stuff. Um, I bought it to be a butcher knife, and it's a $10 butcher knife, and uh, it's going to go in my camping bag, and I'm going to use it for that when I need to cut stuff when I'm making food while camping or hiking. Uh, I really don't see it doing much more than that. Maybe I'll play around with it in the kitchen or, or do some tests with it just to, to kind of play around, you know, but uh, I, I'm not, I didn't buy this to seriously be a bushcraft knife, even though it may be able to perform in that capacity. Um, when you talk about this carbon steel blade, you know, people are like, oh, with the right heat treat, carbon steel, and, 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 and I agree with that, but I don't think that this carbon steel blade has had the same kind of heat treat uh, say this SE3 carbon steel blade. I think that this is a much better choice for bushcrafting, camp knife, hiking, and survival, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I do think that this is probably a better butcher knife because that's what it was built and designed for. Um, the heat treat on this probably isn't tempered to be a hard steel, it's probably tempered more for ease of sharpening. Um, anyhow, that being said, let's get it open, let's take a look at it, and see what uh, what we got here. Hopefully I don't cut myself. And like I said, you know, if this is the only knife that you can buy, by all means, maybe it's a good choice for you for uh, camping, hiking, and bushcrafting, um, as well as kitchen duties. But to me, this feels like a kitchen knife. It's a little heavy on the end, so maybe you could chop with it. Uh, I'm not sure that I would call it a good chopper. It, it certainly wouldn't now perform a, a, a knife designed for chopping. Just as I wouldn't expect a knife designed for chopping to outperform this in, in butchery tests. It feels pretty sharp. Let's see if I can find a, a piece of paper here that we can slice on. Here's one. Uh-oh. So it doesn't come with that uh, that sharp of an edge, but I'm sure we could put one on here, and uh, it would probably take one pretty well. Anyhow, the blade is seven inches. Let's line it up and let's measure the handle. We got uh, coming up with this line. We got one, two, three, four. So it's about four and a quarter inch long handle. It feels pretty good. Um, again, I had this delivered to my house off of Amazon Prime for about ten bucks. So I wouldn't expect a whole lot. I believe that's around a two millimeter. Uh, spine. When I take a look at this, this looks to me to be stamped steel. You can see some flex in there. That flex leads me to believe again that this is uh, has a lower heat treat on there. I, I would guesstimate probably somewhere around 56 Rockwell hardness, and I would guesstimate this is somewhere around 1050 to 1070 uh, carbon steel. I would not think it's much higher than that. Again, I could be wrong. It comes with some warnings uh, around it, around around rust, but or discoloration, but I think that that makes sense being a, being a carbon steel. I do have a scale, so let's throw this baby up on there. 
and see what this thing comes in at. Is this thing on? Maybe I can see better in the, uh, there we go. So you look about 5.15, 5.2 ounces, um, which is probably adequate for a, uh, a kitchen butcher knife. What's nice about this is a lot of people take these uh, because they're so inexpensive and they grind them down to be a Nesmic style blade or a Bushcraft style blade or a Tonto style blade. Um, Tanto, I guess, depends on how you say it. Um, there's lots of things you can do. I would be a little bit concerned about this edge right here, so maybe you put a choil in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with this knife. I just bought it to play around with. Like I said, it's probably going to become a camp kitchen, uh, camp kitchen knife. But uh, if you guys have any suggestions or want to see anything, um, comment below and maybe we'll do something. All right, well, thanks, folks.